Hey everyone, Mr. Sejenu here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mod your SNES from North America to play games from any region. It is a very, very straightforward and very basic mod that yields a lot of return. I would say this is why the North American version of the SNES is far superior to any other version out there. So it's better than the Famicom, it's better than the SNES from Europe because of one simple reason, and that is the ability to mod it easily. So this is an unmodded SNES, and this is a modded SNES. Very hard to tell the difference. The only thing you need to do are remove two small pieces of plastic that prevent the Japanese carts or the European carts from fitting. So I've got two cartridges. Here are the differences between the cartridges. So this is the North American version and this is the Japanese version. So the North American version, as you can see here, have those two little indents in the plastic. And the North American SNES also has two plastic pieces that fit into this cartridge. The Famicom version does not have the same slots. And that's the only thing preventing the Famicom version from fitting into your SNES and working. The only thing. So you can see, this is the unmodded SNES. The cartridge will not go down. Now, I'll swap it out with the modded SNES. And the cartridge fits in. And the game works. After this video, at the very end of it, I'll even show you how this game works in here. Alright, and the lever even works. <laughs> so I'll zoom in and I'll show you the two little plastic pieces that you need to remove and then I'll flip it over and show you how it works on the TV. Alright everyone, this is my unmodded SNES. If I open it up, you can see the guardrails right here at the back and right there at the back. And those two little plastic pieces are what prevent the game from other regions of loading in. I'm going to switch it out. This is my modded SNES. And you can see the difference where I removed those two plastic tabs. And that's the only thing you need to do to get a Super Famicom game to work on a North American SNES. And those two plastic tabs, when you take them out, look like that. There's one, there's the other. So they're pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is take pliers, fit them in, needle nose work best, and just pry out those tabs. So I'm gonna flip over to show my TV and the modded SNES working on it. All right, so I've got my unmodded Super Nintendo on the left, and I have the modded Super Nintendo on the right. As you can see, the Super Famicom version of Street Fighter does not fit in the unmodded Super Nintendo. But on the modded Super Nintendo, where I removed those plastic tabs, the game fits in without issue. Now to power it up. And as you can see, everything works great. So there you have it, 
remove those two tiny plastic tabs, and you're off to the races. Thank you everyone, take care.